Hey, what's going on guys? D Legend here. Brand new month. It is June now in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and in the world, in the real world. Um, but today we are going to be going over the updates that are going on in June, as well as going over the brand new Key Art 23 banner. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. Um, and yeah, let's talk about all of it. So my rank for the High School Challenge was 621st. It's not horrible. And then I think I finished top 1,000 for the PvE Coliseum recently as well, so that means free skills. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about all the brand new updates that are in this month. Um, first and foremost, we are going to be talking about Weekly Jewel Extravaganza, or VIP. So VIP in this week includes the Balloon Mike and Sully Avatar part and 1400 Jewels, as well as Supernova++ Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Sid. So I'm not going to go over Sid again, but basically he's a PvP medal. If you guys haven't seen my little quick breakdown of Sid, um, I did this in my last video. Um, or actually not my last video, but the video before my last one. Um, where I talked about the three brand new medals that are coming to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. That literally came out the day after, so um, I definitely filmed that video a little late. But anyways, um, yeah, so Sid. PvP medal. Not a bad PvP medal. Not an amazing medal regardless of what anybody says. It's got a 68 times multiplier, which is not very good nowadays, even though it's a PvP medal. Um, really not that great. It's got some utility, to, utility though, because of its 10,000 power strength buff for one turn with its supernova. So that's one thing that you guys can maybe look forward to using if you guys need him, or if you have him from a VIP. If you guys buy VIP regardless anyways, then... I guess this makes sense for you guys. Um, but yeah, not the greatest metal. And um, yeah, so that's VIP for this week. Let's talk about the new and returning avatar boards. So Monstropolis Donald is here. It includes attack boost 12, max gauge 0, and gauge 1, as well as attack boost 8, max Lux++ plus plus gauge 0. Two Fantasia Mickey Bs and Magic Gem times 1. So this board, I mean... I guess it looks kind of cool. <laughs> it's up to you guys whether or not you want to get it. Not the I don't love buying avatar boards for skills nowadays because they're so expensive compared to the skill boards that you can get. And I just have enough skills from PVE Coliseum, generally speaking. So that keeps me happy. Returning avatar boards, these ones here, nothing crazy. I wouldn't buy them unless you really want them for the avatar board uh, parts. Next up, we have June events. So we've got a bunch of new things coming up in June. So we got the Stitch screen debut celebration. So like I said in my last video, um, Stitch actually came out in Ju like Lilo and Stitch, the original movie, before the, even the TV show came out, came out in June, I think. Yeah, it came out in June 2002, and I think they released it officially on June 21st, 2002, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, we have a brand new Stitch medal. He is not an amazing medal per se, but he's not bad considering it's a free event medal. And um, it's got some utility to it because it's a two-turn speed metal buffer. So not the worst thing in the world to get a free metal. I will definitely sh um, highlight this guy in another video. Maybe do a showcase for him. Because it's been a while since we've had a brand new free metal that's actually somewhat meta-relevant. Re meta other than Aerith, I guess, recently. So defeat the Wretched Witch. We can defeat the Wretched Witch to get some sub-slot metals. Nothing crazy there. Treasure Trove challenge. Use Treasure... Use your treasure trove to get power gems. This is like that tongue twister. See, she sells seashells by the seashore, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways. Raid events. Um, zero AP cost, double deluxe throughout the entire month. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, honestly. Double deluxe for each raid boss, and it costs zero AP for each boss. So this means a lot of people are going to be hitting like level 800 and 900 in the very near future. Very near future. Because some people love raiding, and some people love getting Lux. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, by the way, Raid Week will start on June 8th, 2020. So that's next Monday. And that's just a heads up for you guys. But we also have brand new Union Cross, nothing crazy there. Um, obviously our monthly gem quests. And then this month for PvE Coliseum, we have Attack Boost 12 Max Gauge 2. Um, so make sure you guys do that, and I'll show you, I'll make a PvE video very soon for Coliseum, and how to do Coliseum, in my opinion. 
um, and just tips and tricks to how to get to the top because I've been top 100 in Coliseum before for a few months consecutively back in the day and recently I've been like top 1000, top 500, top 100 here and there but not recently. Um, some free uh, pet parts from collecting Lux and then some more events this month. So we got some surprise events going on, we've got Deluxe PvP starting tomorrow. Uh, returning avatar event, chasm challenges update, three day limited union challenge again, a login bonus with a free medal from a known title, that's kind of cool. I wonder what that will be. Uh, lady luck challenge, returning scenario event, yeah so deluxe lux ranking week, 3000 jewels up for grabs there, and a lux challenge, okay that's kind of cool. It's been a while since one of those so let's check that out when it comes out. Story quest campaign, Donald Duck screen debut, daily gem event, more story quest in proud mode events, Keyblade wielders event, three challenges, <laughs> three challenges, three wishes challenge, deluxe union cross critical events, I'm not gonna read the rest, but there you have big bonus challenge, stitch debut event, uh, high score challenge, what's Bianca and Bernard? I literally have no idea what that's from, but anyways, let me know in the comments below if you guys are, if you guys have knowledge of what that is. More deluxe PvP, Hercules. So they're they're really milking the screen debut events, blah, 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 screen debut events this month because they've got like three or four going on. Anyways, that's for this month, and I know you guys are here for the main event here. So let's go ahead and talk about Supernova Plus Plus Key R23 and its banner. So I kind of covered this in my last video already, but um, if you guys are here for this, I'm sorry for making you wait so long. It's been it's been six minutes already. So let's get right into this. Uh, Supernova Plus Plus King Art 23 is a speed, an upright speed metal, um, and we'll talk about its banner first. So, first and foremost, it is a 5 pull Mercy, which is awesome, but um, is this metal worth it? Let's get into that, too. Um, aside from this, though, you do get one trait metal per pull and 10 VIP coins, as well as three speed gems from this banner per pull. Uh, you get three Kingdom Hearts 3 medals as well, that are 7 star and above, and then 6 medals that are um, 5 star and above. So this medal looks like this, and its art looks like that. Um, as you can see right there, I can't really click it or anything, but it looks pretty cool. And it's another key art medal, so that's pretty sweet. This medal is, like I said in the last video, um, an AoE medal that does super effective damage to all uh, targets, so regardless of their attribute. So let's say you have a, a reverse, actually this, okay, so speed metals are normally strong against magic-based enemies. And so this metal would be strong against magic-based enemies, but it would also be strong against uh, power-based enemies as well as speed-based enemies. So that's pretty cool. And generally speaking, metals that deal damage against all attributes are really, really good raid metals because they've got longevity and um, you can just usually get like three or four copies of each of these metals and throw them into your raid setup and just have a killer raid setup for whatever keyblade you need. So for this metal specifically, you get like three or four copies of him and throw him onto your sleeping line. Obviously it's a big investment because you're going to need to do four mercies if you get lucky. You might get one of these metals early um, or from like you might get two copies within five pulls. But um, yeah, you're still going to have to tr uh, spend some jewels on uh, the traits from its trait boards or it's just the Moogle shop 1000 jewels per 10 traits So it's gonna be hard for you guys to actually get four copies with raid traits So only like honestly only whales really do this um, but there's some whales that are That love raiding and spend a bunch of jewels on metals like this so that they can have an optimal raid setup the last example of this was gear 22 which actually had um, was also super effective against all attributes, so a lot of people are using that as their raid metal and their raid setup full of Kiart 22s. This metal has an 87.36 times multiplier for its special attack. It's tier 10 metal, 6 gauges though, so that makes it hard to use. However, we do have uh, attack boost max lux plus plus gauge skills now, so that is an option for you guys if you guys are interested in using this metal for raiding. Um, 47,460 base strength, and supernova wise, it, uh, actually I didn't even talk about the special attack, let's talk about the special attack first. Other than it being super effective against all attributes, it does, it, get, it increases your metal strength by 3,000 for two turns, and then it buffs yourself 
for general, upright, and PSM strength right 15 tiers. Special attack bonus plus 200% count it's plus 1. Supernova wise, it does the opposite, so it actually decreases the, tar the target's general, upright, and PSM defense by 15 tiers, and then it also buffs your uh, metal strength by 6,000 for 2 turns. Special attack bonus plus 300%. Triggers before slot 1 is activated when defending PvP. 240 times the multiplier for it, so it's pretty standard nowadays for these tier 10 Supernova++ plus plus medals. Um, yeah, would I pull on this medal? Not really, because what I, the criteria I use for certain medals is... Okay, I'll talk about this in another video, but briefly. Um, if it's usable on its own, which technically it is, but also it's not the greatest metal on its own, because if you just use its special attack, you're not going to get max buffs and debuffs on the enemy. So I wouldn't pull on this metal unless you really, really want to make this metal part of your raid setup, um, because it's super effective against all attribute types, so you could throw on your pet slot pretty easily and just have it super effective against any raid boss. That's useful. Um, the only other reason I would pull on this is if you are itching to pull, slash if you really like this metal and the art that is included with it. Um, it's pretty cool in my opinion, but I wouldn't pull for it just based off its art, unless it's something I really, really love, and this does not meet that criteria. So anyways guys, that is basically the end of the video. I really like this banner though, it's, it really looks really cool. Um, really looks really cool. Anyways, <laughs> that's, that's it guys, I think. Um, I will be filming a PvE video very soon, so thank you guys for um, your support and um, for choosing. Actually, no, you guys picked um, general met like general setups and how to play the game as the next video topic for uh, uh, my Cux Guides playlist. So I will definitely be doing a video on that for my series, and um, then I will be moving on to the PvE aspect of this game. And I'll probably film that first because it's easier to film that in the beginning of the month where you can actually just start from the beginning and show you guys how to work your way up in PvE Coliseum. So I'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is the end of the video, guys. I will catch you all very soon. Hopefully you found this informative. And um, yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content. And like and comment on this video. Tell me if you guys are going to pull on this video, or not on this video, pull on this banner. If you're going to save your jewels, because honestly, I think there's going to be a new buffer coming in the very near future. And it would suck to not have jewels for that, in all honesty. And I've made that mistake a few times in this game's meta. It's been really hard to save jewels as a free-to-play player. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, I will catch you all soon. Make sure you guys grab your draw tickets, because the last day for the banner is today. Make sure you guys use those. Um, I'm going to grab my jewels here. And then... I think there's one, like, this is the last day for the draw tickets. Yeah, so I need one more draw ticket. And then I get myself another 10 pull mercy. Or, not 10 pull mercy, another 10 pull. But anyways, I will catch you all soon, guys. Peace out. Actually, you know what, guys? I think I missed one of the days for the draw tickets, but I don't know. I ended up with nine at the last day here. So, and there's no more ways to actually get draw tickets. So I'm probably sh pretty sure I just missed a day where I could have gotten one more draw ticket. But that's okay, we can do nine pulls here, and then call it a day for this video. Angelic Amber, not terrible. Would be useful if I didn't already have two copies of her. Probably just sell her for some raw points. Zack. We're gonna do this quickly so I don't waste you guys' time, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Wisdom form. Rapunzel. What we got? Xehanort. Three pulls left. Let's see if we can pull a big tier 10 medal. That'd be awesome. I'm going to let this one run because we have three left. Third time's a charm, right? Ooh, a Kairu. That's not the worst thing in the world, except it's a tier 9 one. Don't love it. But that's alright. Two pulls left. Let's leave it. We're not going to do a quick tap or anything like that. Give me a tier 10 medal. I will be happy with a tier 10 medal. Neku and Joshua. Illustrated. Or no, Prime actually, sorry. And the final pull from this... This year's draw ticket banner, probably this year's. 
I don't know if they'll actually have another one in the near future here, so. Zexion, tier 7 though, that's not bad, so that's good for draw points. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. Catch you all soon. Enjoy your days. Peace.